Today, we are discussing all things Tactical Assault Rifle, right here in Savin's World. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Savin's World, the gaming channel for all things Seven Days to Die. If you are ready to take your Seven Days gameplay to the next level, then be sure to subscribe to Savin's World and turn on notifications so you do not miss a single one of our tutorial videos. Today, we are discussing all things Tactical Assault Rifle. This is the new Tier 2 weapon in the machine gun tree. So it goes AK-47, Tactical Assault Rifle, and then the M60. So we're going to be taking a look at the Tactical Assault Rifle today, since it is brand new to 7 Days to Die. So I'm going to head on inside. We are back at the Savin's World Testing Grounds. We need to grab all the stuff we need to take a look at this bad boy. Let's get started. The first thing we want to take a look at is the skills and perks that govern this weapon. The Tactical Assault Rifle is governed by the Fortitude attribute, and you are going to want to pay particular attention to the Machine Gunner perk. As you increase levels in this perk, your Tactical Assault Rifle will get better and better. Each level will grant you additional damage, faster fire rate, and faster reload speed. Once you get up to level 3, you also start to unlock the Commando Adrenaline perk. Each shot scored with automatic weapons gives you more stamina. Pretty darn sweet. All the way up to level 5, which every shot that you hit with the Tactical Assault Rifle gives you 6 stamina. Pretty darn sweet. So once you get your machine gunner perk all the way up to level 5, you'll be dealing 50% more damage, you'll have a 25% faster fire rate, and a 30% faster reload speed. And again, that Commando Adrenaline perk is pretty sweet, so every shot that you hit will grant you 6 stamina. So every time you shoot a zombie jerk in the face, you gain 6 stamina. Not bad. That means you can actually aim with this weapon without having to worry about stamina penalty, because every time you hit, you'll be gaining stamina. Not too shabby. Like most of the other weapons, th this uh, perk tree can be opened up at Fortitude Level 1, Fortitude Level 3, 5, 7, and of course, Level 5 can be opened up at Fortitude Level 10. That's pretty much the standard progression with any weapon in 7 Days to Die. That's usually when they can be unlocked. There are a few exceptions, but generally speaking, you're looking at uh, level 1, level 3, level 5, level 7, and level 10. And of course, the Fortitude attribute works very similarly to all the other attributes that govern weapons, as you will be getting a, an increased headshot damage and an increased chance to dismember, all the way up to level 10, where you will be getting a 300% headshot damage boost and a 50% chance to dismember. And like all of the other attributes, levels 1 through 5 will be 1 point to buy. Levels 6, 7, and 8 are 2 points to buy. And 9 and 10 are 3 points to buy. And next up, let's take a look at the book series that governs the Tactical Assault Rifle. And of course, we are talking about the Automatic Weapon Handbook, also known as the Machine Gunner Books. There are some very good volumes that you can find in this book series. For instance, Volume 1, you will be dealing an additional 10% more damage. Volume 2 is pretty cool. Fully Automatic Mode does 1% more damage per hit. So the more you fire, the more damage you do. Number 3, 20% less degradations means you can go longer without having to uh, repair your weapon. Number 4 is a really good one. You can craft drum magazine mods. Those are awesome. They will increase your magazine size tremendously. Volume uh, volume 5 here, fully automatic fire, is more accurate. So you get more accurate the more times you shoot. Volume 6, fully automatic mode has an increasing chance to ragdoll an enemy with each hit. The ragdoll in this alpha is amazing. It's one of the best things they have added. It's hilarious. So now being able to ragdoll them with, uh, with the, the tactical assault rifle, that's pretty darn sweet. Number seven, you can craft the M60. doesn't really uh, pertain to this video. And then of course you have the completion bonus. This is a very, very good bonus. Each kill boosts your run speed by 20% 
for 20 seconds. So that means that you can spray and pray, kill a bunch of zombies, and run away. So if you're getting swarmed, every time you kill, you can, uh, you'll can you increase your run speed so you don't have to worry about getting swarmed and, and surrounded. You can beat a, a hasty retreat if needs be. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the base damage, base stats for the tactical assault rifle. We are going to compare those to the AK-47. Now they have nerfed the AK-47. Back in the, in previous alphas, the AK-47 was one of, if not the best weapon in the game. However, they have kind of nerfed that a little bit because now the AK-47 technically is a tier one weapon whereas the tactical assault rifle is the tier two. So it should be a little bit better. So if we go ahead and look at our uh, tactical assault rifle, we're doing a range damage of 61, not bad. Magazine size of 31, that's not bad either. Uh, effective range of 43 with rounds per minute of 417, not bad at all. When we compare that to the AK-47, the AK-47 does less damage, has a, has a smaller magazine size, does not fire as fast, and the effective range is pretty similar. But you're able to, with the tactical assault, assault rifle, you're actually able to get more lead down range faster than you are with the AK-47. Now, let's take a look at actually crafting the tactical assault rifle. The tactical assault rifle is another weapon in which you will need to find the schematic before you can actually craft this weapon. There is no other way to unlock the crafting options for this weapon. So be on the lookout for the tactical assault rifle schematic. You're going to need it before you can craft this weapon. But once you find the schematic, you can craft this bad boy using machine gun parts, forged steel, duct tape, scrap polymers, and springs. And keep in mind that as you increase your machine gunner perk, the tier that will be opened up for you to craft will increase all the way up to level 5. And as always, as you increase the tier that you are crafting, the amount of crafting materials you're gonna need will increase as well. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the mods available for the Tactical Assault Rifle. Of course, you got all three of the Trigger Group mods. Now, keep in mind that the Tactical Assault Rifle already does a three round burst. So adding the burst mod will give you the damage boost, but it won't do anything else. However, adding the uh, semi mod will turn it into a semi-automatic weapon, meaning one trigger pull, one round fired. And then also the full auto mo uh, mod will turn the tactical assault rifle into a fully automatic machine gun, which means you hold down the trigger button and it'll continuously fire. Burst mod, however, will only give you that damage damage boost. So keep that in mind when you're, when you're choosing what to install into your tactical assault rifle. Then we've got the uh, foregrip mod and the retracting stock mod. Both of these will increase uh, while moving or firing from the hip. So these are great to use if you are not planning on, on using the aim feature for the tactical assault rifle. And then the bipod mod does the opposite. It increases uh, accuracy and handling when aiming the weapon. I would recommend that you decide how you want to use this weapon. Do you want to use this weapon while hip firing or do you want to use it while aiming? That will determine what mods you want to throw on because putting these together makes no sense. They cancel each other out. It's kind of silly. Yes, you will get the extra damage boost, but other than that, you're just kind of shooting yourself in the foot. So if you're going for the hip fire, foregrip and retracting stock is the way to go. If you're going for aiming, go with the bipod. All right, then we've got the laser sight, which is another one that increases accuracy when firing from the hip. And this I have paired with the weapon flashlight mod because you can only have one of these. If you have the laser sight, you can't have the weapons flashlight and vice versa. Um, weapons flashlight, again, it's a, in my opinion, it's a waste of a mod slot. Get a helmet, throw the, the, throw the helmet light mod on your helmet. Don't worry about putting uh, a flashlight on your on your weapon unless you have nothing else to throw in there. Just my humble opinion. Save the mod slot for something else. But if you are going for a hip fire build, the laser sight mod is pretty darn sweet. Next up, we have the magazine extender. So we have the standard magazine extender mod and we have the drum magazine. If you have the choice between the two, I would go with the drum magazine. They both do the same thing. It's just the drum magazine does it a whole lot better. So they both increase the magazine size of your weapon. However, the drum mag magazine gives you a whole lot more than the magazine extender. The only drawback to the drum magazine is you have to find that automatic weapons handbook 
uh, in order to craft it. I believe it's volume four. You have to find that book before you can craft the drum magazine mod. So if you have not found the book and cannot craft the drum magazine mod, the magazine extender mod is still an excellent choice for mod to throw on your tactical assault rifle. The more rounds, the better. That's my, uh, that's my philosophy. Next up, we have the sights that can go on the tactical assault rifle. We have the reflex sight. This improves weapon handling. It's designed for fast target acquisition. And uh, we have the scope mods, times two and times four. The times eight cannot go on this weapon, only the times two and the times four. But remember, you can only throw one of these bad boys on there. You can't have a reflex sight and a times two scope. Can't do it. Oh, it's one or the other. Then we have the, um, these are the miscellaneous ones, Cripplum Mod, Rad Remover, and the Hunter Mod. And then we have the barrel modifications. We have the muzzle brake that reduces recoil, the silencer, and then we have the barrel extender, which uh, increases damage range and aimed accuracy. So if you're planning on aiming with the tactical assault rifle, this would be an excellent mod to throw in there. The time has come, ladies and gentlemen. We are heading to the rifle range and we are going to see this bad boy in action. Let's get to it. It's time to slay some zombie jerks. Let's get some zombie spawned in here and we will put this bad boy to the test and see just how good it actually is. Hello ladies, how are you doing today? We want to thank you for joining us for this test. Now the tactical assault rifle does have a range of about 40 However, just uh, to test it out, we're just going to stand at the 10, uh, 10 meter mark. A little later, we will head on down to um, the 40 mark, just so I can demonstrate that this weapon can still hit uh, zombie jerks from that far away. But we want to test this bad boy out just how it is. No perks, no skills, no books, and no modifications. We just want to test and see how this bad boy does. So we are going to uh, hip fire. Boom! Now you'll notice, three round burst is standard. Just like that. Now if you tap, if you tap it, you can fire a single round. <laughs> if you hold it down, you are going to fire a three round burst. So it's automatically set up for burst mode. You can tap to fire a single, hold it down to fire three round burst. If you want to do full auto, you got to put the full auto mod onto the tactical assault rifle. But you, as you saw, it is a pretty powerful little gun. Let's bring in some more zombies and I will show you what it looks like when you are aiming. Ho, ho, ho. Boom, one shot kills. Love it. You hit him in the head. Oh, it's a beautiful thing, baby. Now let's go ahead and let's spawn in a whole bunch of zombie jerks. And let's see how long it takes me to mow through these mofos. <laughs> there we go. So that wasn't too bad. I was able to mow through all 25 zombies relatively quickly. Wasn't uh, It didn't exactly awe me, but, um, it, you know, it was a decent, uh, pretty decent weapon. I guess it would have been better if I wasn't such a crap shot at point blank range. But hey, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> so now I do believe it is time to test this bad boy out at the peak of its usefulness. We are going to get our character perked up. We're going to get the skills up, read the books, mod out this bad boy, and we are going to see this bad boy in action. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. I've got my 42 all the way up to 10. Machine Gunner is up to 5. And our book series, all the way red. Got our tactical assault rifle all modded up. We are ready to roll. So I'm going to bring in a whole bunch of zombie jerks. And let's see how fast we can mow through these mofos. <laughs> oh, baby. 
That was awesome. So yes, the full auto mod it was definitely the way to go. <laughs> I was able to mow through them all with one magazine. Oh man, that was a thing of beauty. Do you see how fast that thing fired too? Whew, watch this, watch this. Man, look at that fire rate. Oh, I love it. Love it. All right, we got to do that again. Let's uh let's do this uh this time with some soldier zombies. Get a little some some uh armored zombies in here. I think that would uh that would be good. So we're going to try this again with the soldier zombies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was a, one left. One left. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, man. That's so much fun. Oh, it's such a blast. So last but not least, we are going to... Let's see. Our, our effective range is 43. The last thing I'm going to show you is we're actually going to come down here to uh, the 40 mark right there. I'm gonna show you that it is still effective all the way out at 40 meters. We've got a whole bunch of zombie jerks over there. Now I'm using a hip, a hip fire setup, so my aiming setup is not the best. But as you can see, I am still able to hit the zombie jerks all the way from down here. So it is still effective all the way. But if you are going to use this at the maximum edge of its range, definitely go with an aiming setup with the scope. That way you can actually zoom in and actually see the zombie jerks instead of trying to uh, just use the iron sights. It makes it a lot easier having a scope on this bad boy. So if you are planning on using this weapon at 40 meters away, Make sure you're using the aiming setup and throw a scope on this bad boy. But that does demonstrate that the weapon is still effective all the way down here. It did not take me any time whatsoever to, to mow through those 25 zombie jerks. So this weapon is very, very, very effective. Uh, you get your skills up there and you are pumping through a lot of rounds, doing a lot of damage. And what's cool is you can have multiple setups. Like I said, you can have a hip fire setup. You can have an aiming setup. So depending on the situation, you can switch out those mods to fit whatever situation you may run into. Overall, I believe the tactical assault rifle is a great addition to seven days to die. It is very, very effective. It's fun to use. And once you get uh, some skills and some perks into it, you are going to absolutely love this weapon. So there you have it, folks. That is all things Tactical Assault Rifle. If you found this video helpful and or enjoyable, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss a single one of our tutorial videos. But for now, this is Savin saying thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me in Savin's World. And remember, the average gamer is always king of the hill on the bell curve.